Uh, I'm Kirk Rademacher. I'm uh, one of the sand guys. We do sand sculpture uh, all over the world. And, but normally, the stuff I do here, because I live here in Santa Cruz, it's more community oriented like, like this, this teaching. But when I go abroad, it's working on big, huge commercial projects right. where it's not teaching at all, you're actually building stuff. The community of La Selva, the small beach community here, hired me, I guess it's the library, uh, hired me to come down and do a little seminar on how to make sand sculptures out of uh, beach sand. We're going to show you how to make sand castles. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, it's not rocket science, but there is. Yeah, it is rocket science. You you got to pay attention and uh, and uh, see what we do. So let's get some water first, and we'll get going. I need uh, five volunteers, and each volunteer grab a shovel. <laughs> All right. Just some water in that. Good observation. <laughs> it's actually what we call a volcano stack. Very technical term. You can only compact six inches of sand at a time. Like half, half a bucket. I'm not going to use a little water. I'm just going to use a lot of water. See how much? It's covering up the sand. See, it's he's just he's shaking it down right now. Like sand, sand settles into itself through vibration. It's like when you're trying to fit a whole lot of like oatmeal into a jar, and you're like, well, I want to go in, and you shake it down, and then it settles. The same. Get it mixed in really well. Because when you put water on top of dry sand, what it does, the water follows the wet spots. And it leaves dry spots. So just because you just because you dump water on top of sand doesn't mean it all gets wet. You have to mix it in there. Now this is uh, actually this technique is where this is like a, a mini pound up. This is compacted sand. This is just one of the techniques we're going to show you. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I've prepared a, like a little ridge here, and I'm going to stack on top of this ridge. I reach in like a backhoe. I use the side of the bucket to actually to, to uh, get more to get more water. And now I'm making bricks. So she's doing pancakes. I'm using the sides of my hand as the sides of the form of a brick. Now when I put my hands up there, I hold them vertical. I don't cup them or try to cup them to the end. I hold them just like the sides of a brick. And the way that that works. You can stack them just like bricks. I give it a little bit of a shake, a little bit, and I squeeze a little tiny bit. Get some more, more water. Now I'll start back down again here. I'm going to stack them up. See, a little bit of a shake. I hold my hands so after the shake and, until it's level on top. The wrong way to do it, if you put it up there. So you gotta give it a shake until it's level on top. You got that? This this actually is a very sophisticated technique, and I'll be surprised if any of you get it. It's very difficult. It takes a lot of practice. I found that by yeah. If I say it's easy, people get frustrated. If I say it's really hard, then they, they know that it's you know that it's gonna be difficult. So Actually, yeah, there's two books. There's uh, an old book out there called The Art of Sand Castling by Ted Siebert and a new, a new book out by Sandy Feet that's called uh, yeah, Sand Castling Made Simple. Okay. Well, sand Castles Made Simple. Sand Castles Made Simple? It's like a blue cover. Sand Castles Made Simple, that, uh, in that book, it's pretty much these techniques right here.
So I'm going to make stairs here. So I start at the top, just like Morgan was saying. Start at the top. And I'm going to make, I'll make the stairs. I'll just cut them in. That you do the um, the treads first, and then you cut the sides down to get that clean look that Morgan is talking about. You, when you cut sand, you cut back against the planes that you've already cut. So, in other words, if I were to cut up this direction, it gets to the to where the treads are and it breaks. But if I cut down against them, like that. It leaves it nice and clean. Stairs gives you lots of opportunities. Like, like here, I made these stairs. So now all of a sudden, I have all these lines. And I can pick, I can pick a line. I can pick that line right there. Or I can pick that line right there. You can't make too many stairs, as far as I'm concerned. MC Escher did not have a problem with stairs. I don't either. Yeah, do Just me. make stairs. <laughs> I love making stairs. stairs. And this, when you're in the soft sand, <clears throat> this is a great tool for making stairs. You can just push them in. Like this is the soft sand. This is the, this is the, the wet stack sand that you have to carve this. But the soft sand, you can actually just push stairs in. And then the same thing applies, just clean up the edges a little bit. And these walls are really strong. Sorry about that. I want to, I want to put a hole through here. We'll put, a, we'll put a tunnel right here. Don't okay. be afraid to use your hands. I'm going through. right there we go one thing I like to do actually I, I didn't do this yet but I like to see how strong the sand is when I first get to a uh, to a beach so uh, one of the first tests I do I should have done this very first thing is uh, is stack an arch Santa Cruz. Oh, I'm just, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm local. I need to help somebody wet stack here. Everybody's just shoveling. You want to show um this that's good. Happened yep. Just just keep it level. Okay, level up. Okay, that's good. Okay, more water. Okay, let's put some more sand in there. Watch your fingers. Okay, watch, no fingers, no fingers. Okay, now we can do, hang on, no more sand. You can just hit it like that. There, so it's really quick. You see how soupy? Hang on, I think Sophia, I mean Isabella, Sophia needs some more. Ready, Sophia? Need more? No, take more sand. More sand, more sand, Lois. Now let's do another one. Pull that off. All right, now there's something nice. you can carve.